The Jackalopes are fresh off of a much needed 5-3 victory over the New Mexico Ice Wolves last night. They take on a different opponent here this evening as the Corpus Christi Ice Rays visit the Jack Shack next on NATV. Good evening hockey fans, I'm Brandon Luisi welcoming you into this evening's contest. Well last night as I mentioned it was a big game for the Jackalopes. They scored three goals in the second period which propelled them to the 5-3 to three victory. Aries Karanji got his first win with the Jackalopes stopping 22 of the 25 shots that came his way. As for the special team stats, the Jackalopes were 0 for 4 on the power play and 3 for 3 on the penalty kill. This was the first game in five games that the Jackalopes did not score a power play goal. Taking a look at tonight's opponent, the Corpus Christi Ice Rays, they've lost their last two games and in their last 10 they are 2, 7, and 1. But don't let that fool you, they've still got some talent on this team that can turn on the Jets and put pucks in the back of the net. In four games against the Jackalopes this season, Pearson Sobush, a forward on the ice race, has three goals and three assists. That totals six points. The last time these two teams faced off, it was back in December, back in 2023, where the ice race swept the Jackalopes in Corpus Christi. Let's take a look at the out-of-town South Division standings before we look at the out-of-town scoreboard. In first place, the Lone Star Brahmas have clinched the, their berth in the Robertson Cup playoffs. A 40-10-6 record. That's good for 86 points on the year. The Shreveport Mudbugs in second place. The Jacks will take them on next week here at the Jack Shack. 37-13-2 record, 76 points. The El Paso Rhinos also clinching as well. 32-13-5, 69 points. The New Mexico Ice Wolves, after a defeat, are still in fourth place with a 28-17-8 record, 64 points on the season. In fifth place, the Amarillo Wranglers, 26-18-8. That's good for 60 points. In the sixth and final position in the Robertson Cup playoffs are the Oklahoma Warriors currently, with a 25-21-6 record with 56 points. The Jackalopes right below them, seven points out of a playoff spot with eight games remaining. The Oklahoma Warriors are in Shreveport tonight to take on the Mudbugs, so we'll keep an eye on that. The Jackalopes in seventh place, 21, 24, and seven record for 49 points. In eighth place, the opponent tonight, the Corpus Christi Ice Rays, have a record of 16, 31, and five. That's 37 points on the season. And then last place, the Colorado Grip, 11, 33, and five on the season for 27 points. That'll do it for the South Division standings and update. We are in Shriners Week here at the Jack Shack. The Jackalopes are wearing specialty jerseys. They wore jerseys yesterday against the Ice Wolves. And they will be wearing them tonight and tomorrow as well. We'll also have some ceremonial puck drops here this evening. Taking a look at the remaining schedule for Odessa. Tonight and tomorrow, the Corpus Christi Ice Rays will be here in Odessa. Next week, the Jacks still on home ice, taking on the Shreveport Mudbugs. And the week after that, the Jacks will close out the 2023-2024 home season against the Lone Star Brahmas before traveling to Corpus Christi to take on the ice race and finish out the season. And before I forget, want to give a warm welcome in to the Corpus Christi Ice Race fans as well. Unfortunately, not no road broadcaster here this evening to travel from Corpus Christi. And I want to apologize as well. I was able to get a couple of the guys before they got off the ice to get their pronunciations but there were a couple I wasn't able to get got to write down a couple of pronunciations one of the guys very good kid very nice kid number 19 Derek Pichek was very gracious as he took the few seconds as he was coming off the ice to make sure that I understood how to say his name but a lot of these guys I've seen before in Corpus Christi or well, actually, I haven't seen them here at the Jack Shack. The last time the Corpus Christi Ice Rays were here, I was actually not here. Former Jackalope's voice Mike Wazinski was filling in for me as I was out of town for the weekend. We're going to take a look at the starting lineups real quick, beginning with the visiting Corpus Christi Ice Rays. In net is Brian Marks. 
for the Ice Rays. 9.20 and one on the season, 3.6 goals against an 8.94 save percentage. On the back end, Jackson Wade and Luca Fasciano with Derek Pichek, Max Tedestet, and Will Reardon starting for the Ice Rays. For the Jackalopes, it's Max Belly in net, 1-4 and 1 record on the season. 3.13 goals against and an 8.93 save percentage. On the back end, Jackson Wojciechowski, Riley Rosenthal with James Richman, Michael Kadlasek, and Cam Dunn rounding out the first trio of forts. We're going to turn it over to the public address system for the ceremonial puck drop and the playing of the National Anthem. National Anthem has been performed. Again, we're gonna have a ceremonial puck drop as it is Shriners weekend here. Have a couple of puck droppers. Might have actually a few of them. And again, going over the season series, the <laughs> Odessa Jackalopes, Corpus Christi Ice Rays, two, two and oh are the Jackalopes against the Ice Rays this season. It's been a competitive series as the last time these two teams faced off in Corpus Christi was Brian Marks, the goalie here this evening, stealing the show both nights as he was able to backstop the Ice Rays to four points on that weekend. The Jacks obviously are looking to turn that around and get some points on home ice here this weekend and it looks like we only had one ceremonial puck drop here we are just about set to get underway again welcome in jacks and ice rays fans thank you for choosing this broadcast as your entertainment destination on this friday evening the corpus christi ice rays Unfortunately for them are eliminated from the Robertson Cup playoffs, but that doesn't mean they're not gonna play hard. They are, they still have a lot to play for. Roster spots next year, obviously for the fans as Cameron Dunn takes a high stick on the faceoff and he'll skate back to the bench as we play on. Out of the defensive zone, the Ice Rays turn it over in the neutral zone. John Wojciechowski back for the Jacks. Moves one ahead, here's Richmond into the zone, into the slot, now a shot comes in, block save, rebound, Cat Lasik fires one just wide of the post. That puck was wobbling on him, he just missed it as Richmond's stick gets knocked out of his hands, and that forces the Jacks to try to force a defensive zone turnover here, and they will do just that. Fetch go to Richmond, looking for the one-timer, good stick by the Ice Rays to knock that out. Here comes the Ice Rays the other way, a shot comes in by Pichek, that one whistles high over the crossbar. Ice Rays forced to regroup on the delayed offside. Moving ahead now along the right wing. Ice Rays into the zone. 
That's Troy Pelton on the back end. Drops it behind the net for Pearson Sobush. We mentioned in the open how he's been a Jacks killer in the four games that the Jacks and Ice Rays have faced off. It's Nick Metelkin along the left wing. Leaves one for Charlie Smith. Looking to go back to Benion as Smith still possesses. He had a goal yesterday. Benion failed wraparound attempt. It's picked off by the Ice Rays as they start out the other way. Stepan Kuznetsov along the right wing. His pass intercepted by the Jacks and sent back out to center. Sobush whacks at the puck onto the stick of Metelkin as the Jacks move in two on two. But DeMars walks in and fires stick save made by Bryant Marks. That's a really solid save there from Marks as he's been required to make a blocker and a stick save so far. None of them came easy. Here come the Jacks starting out of their own defensive end. DeMars goes back to his defenseman, goes cross ice now to Caden Morgan as Teddy Manlove has it on the back end at the Corpus Christi blue line. It's turned over on an errant pass and the ice race flip it down the length of the ice. Mitchell stops it in the slot, defensive zone. Nice bank pass to Manlove. The Jacks look to catch the ice race in a change. Manlove left wing, his pass deflects, finds DeMars, he gets hit from behind, no call. Here comes Fasciano out of the zone, up on the play as a defenseman. A long left wing, dips the shoulder, tries a backhander toward the net. It rings around to the near side. A turnaround shot comes in, blocked off a Jackalope stick. Hunter Wisenan back for the Jackalopes. Finds Vardy, now ahead to Manlove. He'll gain the red line and give it a cross ice dump into the ice ray zone. He'll go for a line change himself. Corpus Christi trying to advance it just past center. The Jacks pick it off, two on one. Tommy Wright walks in, cross ice, a shot comes in, big save made by Marks. Charlie Smith with a great opportunity right there. And Marks laterally moved from his right to left to make that stop. Board battle ensues along the half wall in the Corpus Christi zone. They're able to get it out, but the Jacks send it right back in off the stick of Charlie Smith. Marks aggressively out to play. Cam Dunn back on the ice along with the first line. It's Tommy Wright shooting one toward the net. It's blocked. A rebound shot. He scores! Tommy Wright, the opening goal for the Jackalopes as they take a 1-0 lead with 16.41 to go. Well, a great play there from Tommy Wright to stick with it as his initial shot was blocked. Good block out in front by the ice rays, but again, Tommy Wright, the soldier of good fortune, getting the puck right back to his stick, walked into the slot and wristed one home. We'll get the official scoring here in just a second, but nonetheless, the Jackalopes with the opening goal of the contest it's always a good thing when you start out with the lead. Just want to make sure that that puck wasn't deflected out in front by Cam Dunn. And we'll find out in just a second. Shots on goal through th the first three minutes and 19 seconds. Read 4-0 in favor of the Jackalopes. They've been doing a good job of hemming the puck in the offensive zone here. Looks like we're set to get underway. It's Tommy Wright unassisted on the goal. So no deflection out in front. The Jacks start out the other way. Richmond deflects it deep into the offensive zone as Bryant Marks is out to play. Stretch pass ahead to Reardon for the ice race. He comes in two on two into the zone. Shot comes in, stick save made, rebound out in front. Richmond's able to bat it out of there. Tommy Manzella goes ahead. Now to the left side, it's James Richmond into the zone, gets around a defender. Into the corner, Richmond centering pass out in front. It bounces off a couple bodies and below the goal line. Starting out the other way are the ice rays. Errant pass picked off at centers. Big hit delivered by Lombardi at center ice. What an open ice hit on Derek Pichek. Another hit right there from Cam Dunn, but the ice rays are able to gain the blue line and dump it in. Belly out to play. His pass, nobody home for the Jackalopes, picked off. By the ice race, Trepo in on that play, is able to force turnover. 
three on one into the zone. Jacks enter, cross ice pass. Benny on back door, unable to find the loose puck as Bryant Marks plops on it. The Jacks threatening right there with that odd man rush. They were unable to convert and extend that lead to two. 15.37 to go in the first. Corpus Christi has now registered their first shot on goal. Five to one, read the shots. Offense has zone draw for the Jacks. Far side, that's the glove side of Bryant Marks. Benion's turnaround shot blocked out in front by Wolfgang Govidaris. Stretch pass goes down. Wojciechowski wins the race for an icing call. This icing is brought to you by Hilliard Office Solutions. The Ice Rays have a really big lineup. Couple of guys six foot five and up. You got three forwards, Carter, Cranky, Max Tedeset, and Will Reardon reading six five, six five, and six six respectively. On the back end, you've got Griffin Zasky at six five, Luca Fasciano at six four. That's a sizable team. Puck gets sent into the third row off the glass. Face off, face off will come, excuse me, right back into the offensive zone for Odessa. For Tommy Wright, that is his fifth goal of the season. Again, unassisted. As he stuck with the play, solo effort right there. Nick Metelkin in to take the face off for the Jacks. It's one back by the Ice Rays. Breakout starts for Corpus Christi. It's Pearson Sobush along left wing. Gains the red line, dumps it in, belly out to play. He'll backhand one around the boards as it collides with the stick of Marcus Fetchko ahead to Nick Metelkin, chips it around a defender, gets to the loose puck, and taken down on the play, no call, we play on. Benyon's pass intercepted by Corpus Christi, an errant pass out of the defensive zone. The Jacks take control and backhand it deep. Couple of Jackalopes go for a line change, the second line comes off, coming on for the Jacks is the fourth line. That pass misses off the stick of Troutwine. Goes down the length of the ice. We'll get another icing here. Face off back in the offensive zone for Odessa. They've definitely controlled the tempo here early. We've talked to head coach Scott Dewar multiple times throughout the season about how he wants his team to put together a 60 minute effort, full 60 minutes controlling from opening puck drop to final whistle. And they've done that a couple times. Full sail line change here for the Ice Rays. Jacks look to catch them in it. DeMars was cutting toward the net, looking for a feed from Manlove. That pass was blocked. It goes to the corner now. Ice Rays take control, moving out of the zone. With speed is Valdez around and a fender. Breakaway in Michael Valdez. Blocker save made by Belly. What a move from Valdez. Another shot comes in, tip save. Made by Belly, and a big hit delivered as Michael Valdez dove into Teddy Manlove. He left his feet for that hit, but nonetheless, we play on. Jacks go for a line change. Ice Rays control back in their own zone. It's Fasciano, D to D, to Jackson Wade. As Manzella is able to free the puck at center ice. He gains it back at the blue line. Whiffs on the first pass, gets hit off the play. Valdez with the puck on the back end, goes for a skate with it back in the neutral zone. To put a pin in it, what a fantastic move from Michael Valdez to get around a defender and get in on a breakaway, create a scoring chance. Two on one for the ice race, they'll move in, back and pass across, big save, Belly! Holy moly! Max Belly cross ice pad save! Are you kidding me? 13.31 to go in the first. Sequence of saves, one on a breakaway and one right there on the two on one. Max Belly able to come up with both big saves right there. Face off sent below the goal line as Rosenthal rings it around for Cam Dunn. Dunn with a stretch pass to Michael Cadlasic. Richmond a little bit too eager. He was about a hair offside on that play. All offsides this season. Brought to you by Commercial Ice Machine. Neutral zone face off in front of the visiting penalty box. Still the first line out there for the Jackson. 
last night. The first line responsible for two of the five goals scored. James Richmond getting an empty netter. And then the goal scored five seconds into the second period by number 26, Michael Kadlasic. That was his 15th of the year. Puck deflects into the Odessa bench. We'll get a face off in the neutral zone in front of the Odessa bench. As right now, Michael Kadlasic, we've mentioned that he's been on a point streak for a while in the past couple of games. His point streak ex was extended last night. He's got a nine game point streak and in that nine games, he's got five goals and 10 assists, totaling 15 points. He's not the only one on a point streak. Cameron Dunn is on a five game point streak, four goals, two assists. Shot comes in over the crossbar off the stick of Max Tedestet. Another shot comes in blocked at the half wall by the Jackalopes. They'll start the rush out the other way. Wojciechowski finds Metelkin that just bounces over his stick barely as we have a penalty coming up. On the Corpus Christi Ice Rays. It's gonna be on number 24, Will Reardon. He's gonna go two minutes for roughing. The Odessa Jackalopes going on their first Jersey Mike's power play of the game. They were 0 for 4 last night. Overall, they are operating at a 15.2%. That's 25th in the league. The Corpus Christi Ice Rays operating the 25th the best penalty kill at 79.6%. Face off one back by the Jackalopes. First unit goes to work. Cam Dunn unable to get to the loose puck. Gets sent to the line. Kept it. Oh, they're going to say it came out of the zone. It's a hard vantage point from up here. It did look like Rosenthal kept it in, but again, linesman has a great view of it, so I'm going to defer to the linesman on that call. Eight seconds ticked off on the penalty so far. Face off one back by the ice as they look to clear. It's sent up the wall and eventually out as it's chipped around Rosenthal. Wojciechowski pinches in and beats a man to the loose puck, but it's turned over by the Jacks. Luca Fasciano, shot comes in wide of the post. As Cameron Dunn regroups in his own zone, gets around a defender with a little stop and go move. Here comes Cad Lasik up the left wing for the Jacks. Into the slot, Michael Cad Lasik with space. Cross ice pass splits Cameron Dunn and Tommy Wright, but Dunn gets the loose puck. Cross ice Cad Lasik in the far face off circle. To the point, Wojciechowski. Now right side, Cad Lasik walks in and fires. Tip just wide of the post. Corpus Christi pounces on the rebound and they'll send it down the length of the ice and get four fresh penalty killers out on the ice. 11.45 to go in the first period, a minute of Jersey Mike's power play time for the Jackalopes. As the Jacks look to regroup in their own zone, Wojciechowski cross ice to Mitchell. He'll ring one into the zone. Oh, attempted to be stopped by Marks. Was unable to just get his stick on it. Mitchell keeps it in on the clearing attempt. Trevor Mitchell, the captain, goes cross to Braden Patilla. Far side, Jack still control. James Richmond with space. Fires one, and he scores! James Richmond on the power play. The Jacks take a 2-0 lead. Oh, for the Jackalopes. And James Richmond specifically, that's goals in back-to-back -back games for number 14. As the assists will go to Braden Patilla and Trevor Mitchell on that goal on the power play. Great start to the power play for the Jackalopes here this evening. Still got 11.20 to go here in this first period. Jacks look to continue to keep the pressure on. Shots on goal read six to three. Let's take a look real quick while we have a second. In the first period, 9.44 to go. The Shreveport Mudbugs are up one to nothing on the Oklahoma Warriors. Great news for the Jackalopes. As tonight, we're not only Jacks fans, but we're also Mudbugs fans. I know it's hard to say. But we're rooting for the Mudbugs. Maybe a better way to phrase it as the Jacks are chasing the 
Oklahoma Warriors in the South Division standing. It's Caden Morgan now as we rejoin the play on the puck. Turns it over. Puck gets sent in by the Ice Race. It's Patilla ahead to Manlove. Touch pass. Finds Wizenen. Gliding through the neutral zone. Crosses the red. Now the blue to the right side. Centering pass off the stick of Manlove. He would have had an open cage. Manlove gets to the loose puck. Surveys his options. Backhand saucer pass to Mars. Oh, that one hit the side of the cage. Great feed from Teddy Manlove right there. Saucer pass over the defender's stick. DeMars just unable to find the back of the net. Marks rings it around. Wisnan tries to pin his man along the wall. That was Dylan Jensen. The Ice Raiders are able to get it out, but quickly moving back in with speed nonetheless is Charlie Smith, who backhands one toward the net. Stick save made by Marks. Tommy Wright tries to go down low. His pass is blocked, and he gets pinned along the wall. The Ice Rays free it, and we have a whistle here. And, oh, it appears the net came off its moorings, okay. It was a little hard to see that slight, uh, I don't know how you would put it, slight angle, I guess, of the net. Jacks win the faceoff, quick shot comes in off the draw, stopped by Marks. That one was off the stick of Tommy Wright, looking for a second of the game. Winning that last faceoff was Cohen Belsterling, he had a three-point night last night. Two goals and one assist, including his 10th of the year. Which was a short-handed goal for the Jacks. The Jacks are second, tied second, I should say, in the league for short-handed goals with nine on the season. Face-off, one back by the Jackalopes. Rose the walks line. Fires one. Tip just wide of the net. Had a lot of net front presence there for the Jacks. Rebound controlled by Odessa. Gets sent back to the line for Tommy Wright. He'll walk and shoot one. That deflects off a Corpus Christi stick. Puck is loose behind the net. Charlie Smith trying to fish it free, and he will. Smith, short angle shot, stick save. Rebound, Belsterling behind the net tries a short angle shot. That one blocked out in front. Puck deflects to the corner. Taken back by the Ice Rays as they need a much needed clear here. They'll skate out with the puck. To the right side, that's Stepan Kuznetsov. With speed into the zone, stops on a dime, twirls back. Goes back out to the line, a shot comes in, blocked out in front. Great block shot from Charlie Smith. It's Cohen Belsterling at center ice for the Jackalopes. Walks in and fires. Save made by Marks. He'll hold and cover. We're going to take our first media timeout of the game. It's 2-0 Jackalopes. 9-18 to play in the first period. You're listening to Odessa Jackalopes Hockey on NATV and YouTube. Welcome back inside the Jack Shack here in Odessa, Texas. The Jacks lead this one two to nothing over the Corpus Christi Ice Rays. Still got 9.18 to play here in the first period. And as we did earlier, we will always keep you up to date on the Shreveport and Oklahoma games still going on in Shreveport, Louisiana. It's the second line out for the Jackalopes. So Corpus Christi wins the faceoff. It's running around for J or Andrew Hayek, rather. Moving one ahead. That deflects off the boards. Corpus Christi has to regroup in their own zone. Breakout pass finds Michael Valdez. Moving ahead with speed. Snaps one into the glove of Belly, who will hold and cover. 9.02 to go in the first period. Shots on goal. 10 to three in favor of Odessa. And if you're a Jacks fan, you've gotta be pleased with the offensive pressure, the just relentless amount of forecheck that they have been displaying. They did a good job of it yesterday as well. It's 
Face off to the left side of Max Belly. It's one back again by the Ice Rays. They've done a good job here in the last couple of face offs to string together a couple wins. Getting hit from behind right there was James Richmond. Referee's arm stays down as Cam Dunn chases the puck on the forecheck in the offensive zone. Hayek banks it off the wall. Knocked down by the stick of Richmond. The Ice Rays unable to clear once again. It's Cam Dunn. Pirouettes away from pressure. Sends one out to the line. Good move by Cadlesa. Get around a couple defenders. He's towing the line. Sends one toward the net. Tipped by Vardy just wide. Lem Vardy looking for his first North American Hockey League goal right there. Does have 12 assists on the season. And a turnover forced by the Jackals. Michael Cadlesic behind the play. Almost was able to knock it free and move ahead on a one-on-one. -on -one. Nonetheless, here come the Ice Rays into the offensive zone. A shot comes in. Blocked out of front. Rebound sent just wide of the net by Will Reardon. He has the puck now. Fires one over the crossbar. It rides the wall and gets sent out to center ice. Griffin Zaski back for the Ice Rays. As we have a penalty here on the Jackalopes, Will Reardon taken down on that play. So the Ice Rays will go to their first power play of the game. Taking a seat, number 14, James Richmond. The Jackalopes going to their first Kenner Printing penalty kill of the game. They were three for three yesterday. They strung together a couple of strong penalty kills throughout the game. I really like their second penalty kill in that third period, or the second penalty kill overall, but the first one of the third period. Cohen Belsterling in it to take the face off. Face off one by Belsterling as it gets sent up. Hits the protective netting on the clearing attempt from Tommy Manzella. So we'll do the face off all over again with four less seconds on the power play for the ice race. Ensuing face off one by the Jacks. Manzella this time doesn't find a protected netting. He finds the other side of the ice as he sends it all the way down. Marks. Leaves one for Max Tedeset, who almost turned it over. Instead, they start out the other way with the rush. It's Cody Kemp dropping one in his own zone. Pass to Flex in the neutral zone off the stick of Manzella. Alert stick right there from Tommy Manzella to get in the passing lane and deflect that out of play. It's going to be a neutral zone faceoff in front of the Odessa bench. Taking a look at who the ice race send out there. It's Stepan Kuznetsov with Jakar. Pulls Shakov, Pearson Sobush, and on the back end appears to be, oh, there's Michael Valdez out there, and also Luca Fasciano. Fasciano quarterbacks this rush out of his own zone, crosses his own blue, now the red, now the Odessa blue to the right side for Sobush. Gets sent around the boards, there's Valdez, it's held in at the line by Pull Shakov. Now to Valdez, top of the far face off circle, return pass, Pull Shakov. Right side, Fasciano walks the line. Chips one to pull Shakov. He'll send one cross ice. Off the stick of Kuznetsov. Great seam pass there from Jakar Polshakov on that play as the Ice Rays maintain control. Pass out to the line. Gets sent back to the half wall. Two Ice Rays pinching in. They're able to keep in the zone. Spasciano backhanding one deep. Manzella has inside position. Patilla is there as he rings it around with a hard slap shot. The puck goes down the length of the ice. We'll get four new penalty killers out for the Jackalopes. 40 seconds to go on the counter printing penalty kill. Back in his own zone, moving ahead with speed. That's Wolfgang Govideris. Left side across, Kuznetsov fires with the net, soaked up by Belly. Couple of extra pushes in front of the net. It's the South Division, that happens a lot. Nonetheless, a great save from Max Belly right there. Squared up the shot. The rebound did pop out in front but he immediately noticed and jumped on it with the glove. Didn't allow much of a rebound at all. He kept it in front of him. Michael Cadlasic in to do battle against Troy Pelton on the faceoff. One back by the Jackalopes. Rosenthal with time and space. Sends it up the wall, but not out. Not enough mustard on it. The Jacks force the turnover. Race to the loose puck. Short-handed breakaway. Michael Cadlasic right in. Glove save made by Marks. 
Oh, Nelly! What a shot from Kadlasic, but an even better save from Marks. Holy moly! He saw that one right into the glove. 14 seconds remaining on the Kenner Princing penalty kill. And the uh, Jackalopes have an offensive zone draw. They have the chance to kill it off if they win the faceoff, but Corpus Christi controls. They'll get one last rush ahead. Good stick by Wizenand as he's able to temporarily delay the rush. Gets sent in by the ice rays. Rosenthal rings it around. Puck gets out. And out of the penalty box comes number 14, James Richmond. It's Rosenthal losing it in the slot, but a great alert play by Wojciechowski to poke check it to the corner, or far half wall, rather. Offside are the ice rays as they brought the puck in with a Corpus Christi player over the line. 5.41 to go, first period of play. We'll get a faceoff once again as we have a lot this period in front of the Jack Lopes bench and head coach Scott Dewar. The Jack Lopes win the ensuing faceoff. It's Lem Vardy skating ahead with speed. He wrists one around to the far side as it rings around the boards. Manlove unable to hold, but Mitchell holds the line on the far point. Wisnan hit off the play. It's taken away by the ice rays as Dylan Jensen moves ahead as he glides into the offensive zone. But moving ahead a little far in front of him was Gage Perillo. And that results in an offside whistle. Face off going to be in front of the home penalty box this time. The Jackalopes win it back. Caden Morgan goes D to D, banks off the boards. Moving ahead of the Jackalopes, left wing. It's Tommy Wright getting to the loose puck along the half wall. He rockets one around. Belsling trying to get the loose puck. Smith actually, a backhand pass out in front. Tommy Wright unable to corral. It's Smith, a turnaround shot held by Marks. It's loose out in front, cleared to the corner by Zaski. Great job by the ice rays defenseman right there. Ice race cleared down the length of the ice, but it will be icing. Icings this season, always brought to you by Hilliard Office Solutions. Taking a look at the ice rays, one of the things that I would say they've had a little bit of trouble with tonight, just connecting passes from the defensive zone, the breakout pass has been either a little too far in front or a little too far behind. As the puck gets sent out by Pearson Sobush, Caden Morgan chases it back into his own zone. Has a little trouble with it, but makes the pass to Nick Metelkin. Metelkin moves out of his own end. Benyon glides along the left wing. Return pass, Metelkin fires one. Great stick out in front by Fasciano. He was able to deflect that wide last second. Ice rays start the counterattack. That pass again. Intercepted by the Jacks, a little too far in front of its intended target. It's Troy Pelton back in the own zone for the Corpus Christi Ice Rays. His pass deflects ahead. Here comes Pelton. His shot is blocked. Kuznetsov on the back end. Centering pass goes through the blue paint. Deflects to the near half wall for Fasciano. His shot is blocked by Wojciechowski. Jacks pounce on the rebound. And here comes Fetchko one on one. Wojciechowski up on the play. Pass comes in. Backhander. Wojciechowski. Pad save made by Brian Marks. Rebound to Vardy. A shot comes in. Blocked. Another shot from Vardy. That deflects off a sticking over the crossbar. Wojciechowski backhands it deep off of that breakaway opportunity. And he'll go for a line change. Great shift from the Jackalopes once again. Puck waltzes around Trevor Mitchell. Shot comes in from Sobush. And Belly makes the save. He plays the puck as no ice rays were around. And that starts the rush the other way up for the Jacks. Richmond banks one into the offensive zone and Marks plops on it for a whistle. 3.19 to go in the first period of play. 2-0 Jackalopes. Shots on goal are 13-5. Nice shot there from Pearson Sobush on that last rush. Saw the defenseman back checking. Had a clear lane toward the net and took the shot from the face-off circle. Belly alertly again coming out of his blue paint, making himself look big to make that save. 
Face off one back by the ice rays. They're going to sky one into the air. Valdez unsure where it was, but he wanted to make sure he stayed on side. Turnover forced by the ice rays behind the net. Valdez tries a centering pass. He swing and a miss, strike one. Trevor Mitchell pinned in the corner by Valdez. As Vardy helps to join the fray, it's backhanded up the wall, but not out as the ice rays hold it in. Spinning away from pressure is number eight, Govaderis. Into the far face off circle, Govaderis. Down low, backhand pass out in front. That hits the back of the cage. And the Jacks once again unable to clear. One of the better offensive shifts here so far for the ice rays. Shot comes in, pulls Shotkov. Save made with the stick by Belly. Rebound, an attempt to bat out of the air by Cody Kemp. That was unsuccessful, but the ice rays are maintaining the ozone pressure here and keeping it in the zone. Dunn eventually gets to the loose puck, unable to clear again. Jacks have it pinned. Trevor Mitchell finds Michael Kadlasic off the boards, and that relieves the pressure for the Jackalopes. Pass ahead is intercepted. Hayek into the zone. Cross ice pass. Shot comes in. Trevor Mitchell, an alert stick, is able to deflect it into the protective netting. That's Caden Morgan grabbed from behind by Max Tedestet as Morgan and Hayek exchanged a couple words after the whistle. They'll skate away, none, none the worse for wear. It's going to be Tedestet going to the box as well. And I figured that was coming when he came behind and grabbed Caden Morgan and almost a headlock. But it's going to be Morgan also going to the box, both two minutes for Ruffick. So we will be playing four skaters aside. Two oh six remaining in the period. So two minutes of four on four. That'll take us to six seconds left in the first. I'm no mathematician, but that was kind of easy math. Four on four will open up the ice for both teams and. Normally that favors the more offensive team, but we'll see what happens here as the faceoffs in the defensive zone from, for the Jacks. Shot comes in from Reardon. That one deflects wide. Corpus Christi has been pressuring the last couple of minutes. It's been a good ending to the period so far for them, but there's still a minute 50 to play in the first. Marks from behind his cage, rings one around to the near side. Patilla is able to hit his man off the puck, but here come the ice race, two on one. Fasciano taken down on the play, and it's going to be a penalty on the Jackalopes. Having a seat in the box, gonna be Hunter Wisenand. It's gonna be two minutes for tripping. So now the ice rays, or holding is the call rather. There are four, the ice rays will have a four on three power play. For a minute and 32, and then a 28 second five on four power play, barring any goals scored. Jack's back to the Kenner printing penalty kill. They'll win the ensuing faceoff, and Vardy slaps one hard around the boards. It goes down the length of the ice. Back to retrieve in his own zone is Michael Valdez. He starts the rush out with speed. A long left wing, Valdez to the near side. Polshakov and Wojciechowski battle for the puck. It's won by, I'm sorry, that's Kuznetsov who wins the puck. Now Valdez at the half wall. Kuznetsov pries it free. Gets sent right back to the wall. Kadlasic is there, and he's able to send it out. Rosenthal and Wojciechowski along with Kadlasic. So all three penalty killers go for a line change here. Moving into the zone for the ice rays is Polshakov. Shot comes in. Stick save made by Belly Vardy. Pounces on the rebound and wrists one down the length of the ice. 42 seconds on the four on three, then both teams will get a man back. Here comes Valdez into the zone, drops it. There's Kuznetsov, he'll get set up in the offensive zone, top of the far face off circle, Polshakov, near side, Sobush, return pass, Polshakov, cross ice, Kuznetsov, save made by Belly, and slapped out of the zone by Smith as the Jacks will change the penalty killers up once again. It's all about keeping the fresh legs out there on the penalty kill. Here comes Polshakov, down Main Street, left side, 
Shot comes in to flex off of the stick of Manzella and into the protective netting. 15.9 to go in the period. 10 seconds on the four on three. And both teams get a man back. Going to be a five on four then for the ice race. Out to take the face off, Michael Kadlasik. He's got Rosenthal and Wojciechowski, two defensemen out there with him. And a false start on the face off on the linesman. Kadlasik versus Pelton in the face off circle. It's won by the Irish. It's pinching in as Wojciechowski tries to send it out. He tries to kick it out on a second attempt, sent to the line, but not out. A little mini rush here for the Ice Raiders. They're unsuccessful on converting. Three seconds to go in the period. Wojciechowski just looks to bat it out, and he will. That'll do it for the first period of play. The Ice Rays will be on a 22-second five-on-four power play to start the second period. But for right now, it's 2-0 in favor of the Jackalopes. We'll be back in about 10 to 12 minutes for the start of the second period. You're listening to Odessa Jackalopes Hockey on NATV and YouTube.
Welcome back inside the Jack Shack. After 20 minutes of play, it's the Jackalopes 2 and the Ice Rays 0. Taking a look at how that period unfolded. Just three minutes in was all it took. The Jackalopes would get on the board. Tommy Wright's initial shot was blocked out in front. Followed his shot as the puck came right back to his stick and fired one home. Pass Bryant Marks to make it a 1-0 Jackalopes lead. The Jackalopes would tack on another goal on the power play as James Richmond wristed one home past Brian Marks. This is going to Patilla and Mitchell on that play. That made it 2-0 Jackalopes, which is where we stand after 20 minutes of play. Shots on goal 13-9 in favor of the Odessa Jackalopes. Taking a look at some special teams stats, the Odessa Jackalopes one for one on the power play. The Ice Rays on their second power play of the contest. They've still got 22 seconds to work with moving into the second period. Goalie stats after 20 minutes, Max Belly, seven saves on seven Corpus Christi shots and Brian Marks, 11 saves on 13 Odessa shots. We're gonna take a look at the out of town scoreboard for the North American Hockey League and highlight the Shreveport and Oklahoma game, obviously. The Denbury Hattricks take out the Maine Nordiques, final score of four to three. It was a four goal third period for the Hattricks that propelled the win as they came back from three nothing down. The Maryland Black Bears lead over the Philadelphia Rebels, five nothing. That one's got 12 minutes to play in the third period. Rochester Junior Americans look to, look to clinch a spot in the Robbie Cup playoffs. They are currently tied with the Johnstown Tomahawks three to three. That one's got 640 to go in the third. New Jersey Titans lead the Northeast Generals four to two. Chippewa Steel lead the Springfield Junior Blues two to nothing. That one's got 10 minutes to play in the first. Wisconsin win to go up on the Janesville Jets one nothing, 945 to go in the second period. The Austin Bruins North Iowa Bulls nodded at Goose Eggs with 18 minutes to play in the second. Shreveport Mudbugs are up one to nothing on the Oklahoma Warriors, so that's good news for the Jacks. Obviously, we'll keep you updated throughout the night. That one's got 17, 35, and counting remaining in the second period of play. El Paso Rhinos at Lone Star Brahmas scoreless at the Nitec Sports Center after 20 minutes of play. Uh, still to come, the Amarillo Wranglers are in Greeley, Colorado to take on the Colorado Grip. The Minnesota Wilderness are set to take on the Anchorage Wolverines and the Fairbanks Ice Dogs are in Sedona, Alaska to take on the Kenai River Brown Bears. We have a couple of seconds. We're gonna take a look at the uh, NHL scoreboard. Oh boy. Well, my Chicago Blackhawks are down four to nothing to the Los Angeles Kings with five minutes to go in the first period. Wow. Well, the Hawks were on a two game win streak. That is uh, not looking likely. Anze Kopitar, his 20th of the year, man. Winnipeg Jets lead the Anaheim Ducks one to nothing. That one's got 13 to 55 to play here in the second period. And that is all the NHL scores on this evening. Again, we'll keep a close eye on the Mudbugs and Warriors game. But as for here at the Jack Shack, two nothing in favor of Odessa, the Second penalty kill. The Jacks are right in the middle of it right now. 22 seconds remaining on it. And toward the end of that first period, I mean, the Ice Rays really came back, started to get shots on goal. I wanna say in the last four minutes or so, they registered five shots on goal on Max Belly, who had to make a couple of 10 bell saves. One of them on the breakaway from Michael Valdez, and the other one a two on one, a sprawling pad save made by Belly. And not that Bryant Marks hasn't made some great saves, my goodness. He has been sharp for the ice rays as well. I mean, if it weren't for him, this game could easily be uh, four nothing, maybe even five with the opportunities toward the net. But nonetheless, we're gearing up for this second period as the teams are just about set to take the ice. much to the delight of the home side. 
as we're going to take a look at some stats for the Jackalopes. As soon as I can locate them. You know, I print out this big media pack prior to the game. I can't even find my own statistics. Oh, my goodness. Here we are. For the regular season, the Jackalopes win leading after one period at home are 8-2-0. Overall, they're 14-4-0 on the year. And a win scoring a power play goal. Ironically, the Jackalopes are 1-4-0 at home and 5-9-2 overall. But more recently, when the Jacks have scored power play goals, they've had some success, especially on home ice. And again, this is the fifth meeting between these two teams of the season. They are split down the middle, two and two. The Jacks won the first two meetings here in Odessa. That was Teddy Bear Toss weekend, and then December 29th and 30th, the Jacks were in Corpus Christi where the Ice Rays took both games at home. The Jackalopes will be skating from the left to right. The Ice Rays from right to left. Jacks in the middle of a seven game homestand. It's their last homestand of the season. This is game number two, game number three tomorrow. Next weekend we'll have a two game set against the Shreveport Mudbugs before closing out the home season against the Lone Star Brahmas in two weeks. And as I mentioned, the Jacks will take on the Ice Rays to close out the regular season April 5th and 6th. We're underway here for the start of the second period. Rosenthal with time and space snaps it down the length of the ice for a clear. He killed off five additional seconds by just skating back in his own zone. Good forecheck here by the Jacks as they Force a turnover, Kadlasic in the corner. Backhands one toward the net. It's Kadlasic spinning away as his pass was blocked. Two seconds and one cross ice pass. Wojowski walks in, fires! Glove save made by Marks. <laughs> Offensive zone faceoff upcoming as we have the first whistle of the second period with 19.35 to go. First shot on goal of the period as well, belongs to the Jackalopes. First line in its entirety is out there as Richmond pinches in, gets to the loose puck. Out to the line, Wojciechowski sends a flipper toward the net, is blocked. Three on two the other way, here come the ice race. A drop pass, there's Kuznetsov along the right wing. Watched by Rosenthal as he gets pushed out to the line. Kuznetsov still with the puck. His pass, errant pass, here comes Cam Dunn. Moving ahead on a breakaway. Cam Dunn, right in, forehand, back and returns to the forehand. And a glove save made by Marks once again. I'm telling you, Bryant Marks has had himself a contest still. Stop Cam Dunn on that breakaway. Stop Cad Lasik on the breakaway in the first period. He is keeping his team in this game. as Marks makes a little bit of an adjustment to his equipment. Took his helmet off, adjusted the strap, put it back on, and we're ready to go. Second line out for the Jackalopes, Nick Metelkin in to take the face off. As it's one back to the line, Vardy walks the half wall, takes a big hit, and here come the ice rays. Oh, the pass was behind its intended target. That was Gage Perillo, as the ice rays would have been on a two on one. Puck gets sent into the slot. As it bounces to the far half wall, the Ice Rays take control and send it out. Mitchell bats at a puck. He's able to get it past the Odessa blue line, resulting in a delayed offside here on the Ice Rays. They'll touch up along the blue line. Vardy for the Jackalopes gains the red line, gets sent into the offensive zone. Marks takes his own liberty and sends it out of the zone. Almost an errant pass from Benny on, but it does find the stick of Braden Patilla, who sends it out. Race for icing is on. It's waved off. As Marks rings one around once again to the near side. There's Dylan Jensen moving ahead into the slot. Jensen with some space. Centering pass picked off by Patilla. And he'll send one to the far wall. Ice Rays maintain possession. Into the faceoff circle. Comes in. The shot deflects to the near corner. That one off the stick of Nikita Konevich. He's an 06 defenseman committed to the University of New Hampshire. Wow, that's impressive. Puck gets poke checked away by the Jackalopes. 
Here they come on the counterattack. Three on two into the zone. Caden Morgan into the slot. Her wrister goes wide. Rebound. Short angle shot from Manlove. Hits the side of the cage and rings around to the near side before it's cleared by Corpus Christi. Reardon on the loose puck in the Odessa zone. Gets pinned along the wall. Wisenan tries to get to that loose puck. Kedestet's first on the puck. His pass is picked off. Another three on two for the Jackalopes. Here's DeMars. Centers it. Wisenan. It's caught up in his skates and batted out to the line. Wojowski. A toe drag and a shot. Deflects to the corner. Wisenan gloves it down. He takes a big hit. I believe that was Andrew Hayek who delivered that hit for the ice race. Rosenthal battles for the loose puck. It's poke check to the far side by Wojciechowski. Almost a two on one for DeMars, but he deflects the puck in at center ice, which negates an icing. Ice Rays regain control. They'll turn it over in the defensive zone. Tommy Wright pinned along the wall. Takes a cross check to the face. Wright has the puck. Dips the shoulder back in. Forehand shot. Save made by Marks. And he plops on the rebound. Something the Jackalopes have done a great job of. Not only yesterday, but continuing here this evening. They've gotten bodies in front of the net for the rebounds. As Cohen and Belsterling and Charlie Smith were right there. We are going to get a penalty here. On... Jackson Wade of the Ice Rays did not see the official call. I believe roughing. I just saw the official skate away. It looked like it was holding up the roughing sign. Cross checking is the call. The Jackalopes to their second Jersey Mike's power play of the game. They are already one for one. It's done in the far face or near face off circle, rather. Puck gets sent out. Short handed opportunity for the ice race. Pull shot up into the zone. Tries to dip the shoulder and cut toward the net. Wojciechowski was with him the whole way. Through center ice, Kadlasic takes a hit, leaves the puck behind him, but is able to escape the pressure. Here's Kadlasic, a rounded defender. Short angle, centering pass, misses two jackalopes, and it bounces out to center ice. Race for the loose puck is on, and shielding a defender away was John Wojciechowski. Stretch pass ahead, Tommy Wright unable to gather the loose puck. Pull Shokov takes control, he makes a D to D pass and it gets sent out and into the Odessa bench. Offensive zone face off, 122 to go on the Jersey Mike's power play, 16-16 in the period. We'll get the second line out for the Jackalopes on the power play. Richmond with the power play goal already. Nick Metelkin up against Cody Kempf in the faceoff circle. It's one back by Kempf. Pitching in is Zaski, but getting there first are the Jackalopes. Richmond to Metelkin out to the line. Mitchell, D to D, Patillo walks in to the slot. A pass off the skate of Metelkin. It's loose in the slot, taken by DeMars. Now to Richmond, near half wall. Out to the line, there's Patilla. Left side, Mitchell waits. Fires, save made with the stick by Marks. Metelkin on the rebound for the Jackalopes. Pulls a mover on the defender. It's loose in the faceoff circle. And Mitchell controls. We have a penalty here. As Metelkin took his man down. And that is going to bring an end to the second Jersey Mike's power play. Nick Metelkin, two minutes for tripping. We'll be playing four on four hockey for 54 seconds and then the Corpus Christi Ice Rays, barring any penalties, will go to their third power play of the game for a minute and six seconds. The defensive zone face off here for the Jack, it's one back by the Ice Rays. There's Govideris, centering pass, batted out of mid air by Fetchko. Morgan takes the loose puck and the Jacks will be able to start from their own zone. Caden Morgan to the far side, unwatched as Fetchko. Up the left wing, drops it for Benion. Brings it around as the Jacks cycle the puck out of the reach of Fetchko and Solbush will take control. Pearson Solbush to the right side, return pass in his skates as the Jacks convert on the turnover. It's sent into the Corpus Christi zone, Benion to the loose puck. It's batted away from his stick. Manzella holds it at the line, sent down to the corner. That one hops over the stick of Benion but on the forecheck, he's almost able to free the puck behind the net. Instead, it's Pearson Sobush with a stretch pass. Nobody home for the ice raise. That pass way too far in front. 
as icing is finally called on the uh, ice rays there. So the faceoff will come into the offensive zone. And the uh, ice ray who was in the penalty box is out. And the faceoff is going to come into the defensive zone. They must have set, well, even if the penalty was over, then Corpus Christi would be on the power play. Well, nonetheless, it's a defensive zone draw. And the ice rays, if they win this, they'll be able to get set up on the power play. A minute and six to go on the power play. Jacks on the Kenner printing penalty kill. What a play by Charlie Smith. The ice rays won it back. Smith with the hustle play to knock it out of the zone, forcing Fasciano to skate back in his own zone. He'll quarterback the rush. Moves through center ice. What speed there from Fasciano. Stops along the right wing. Sends it deep. Rosenthal pinches in. But Sobush is there to get to the loose puck. Out to the line. Fasciano walks the deep slot. To the near side. There's Kuznetsov. Taps one to the line for Fasciano. Send to the far side. Now there's Polshakov. Sending pass down low. Sobush all alone. A shot save made by Belly. Short-handed. Here come the Jackals. Almost had a two-on-one with Belsterling and Smith as the Jack deflected in to the Corpus Christi zone. They'll go for a full sail four-man line change on the penalty kill. One last rush here for the Ice Rays. 15 seconds on the power play. It's Kuznetsov stepping into the zone. Hit off the play by Vardy. Mitchell trying to clear DeMars. Attempting to help with the rest of the way. He will. Hayden DeMars. A short-handed breakaway. Right in. Save made my marks on the breakaway again. The Jacks are back to full strength. Hunter wins that into the slot. He's got space. Shoots one toward the net. Pad save made by Marks again. DeMars on the loose puck. Forces the turnover. Man of a drive. Another pad save made by Marks. Hunter wins it in. Tries to go to the half wall. Hit off the play by Hayek. And Corpus Christi able to stop the bleeding and get one the other way. Belly intercepts it. As... Lem Vardy takes exception. Pearson Sobush skated into the blue paint, collided with Belly, who was gloving the puck. But what a sequence there for the Jackalopes. Third breakaway of the game and third breakaway save by Bryant Marks and heading to the box is Pearson Sobush. I'd assume goaltender interference is the call as he skated in and hit Belly with a shoulder. We'll get the official call here in just a second. Nonetheless, the Jackalopes to their third Jersey Mike's power play of the game. Slashing is the call, actually, on Sobush. First power play unit out for the Jackalopes. We've got 13-23 to go here in the second period. Jackalopes still lead this one two to nothing. Let's see if the Jacks can get an insurance goal here. Take a three goal lead. It's one back by Kat Lasik to the line. Near side, Wojciechowski, cross ice, Rosenthal, with space. Wrists one into the trapper of Bryant Marks. You saw that all the way into his glove. This period, the Jackalopes have notched eight shots on goal in the first 6.43 compared to Corpus Christi, who has one. Cad Lasik once again and the first power play unit out there for the Jacks. It's one back by Odessa. Rosenthal sends it down low to Cad Lasik. He's got Dunn in front of the net. Elects to skate with it himself. Rosenthal to the line. Now Wojciechowski walks the deep slot. Right side, Dunn. Cross ice, Rosenthal and whatever, save made, rebound, they score, but the net has been knocked off. The puck was going to go in the back of the net as the net was knocked off. That is a discretionary call by the official. The Jackalopes bench, the Jackalopes faithful, not happy. 
I mean, the goal cameras are working. This is a reviewable play. We'll see if the officials generate the review here. They're not going to look at it. Scott Dewar to the front of the bench for an explanation. And again, I mean, this has been reviewed here at the Jack Shack before. El Paso scored a goal with the net dislodged. I'm trying to think how long ago that was. That was a while back, back in January, I believe. Nonetheless, we play on with a 2-0 game. 139 to go here on the Jersey Mike's power play. Ensuing faceoff, Cad Lasik gets to the loose puck. Batted to the line, kept in by Wojciechowski. Rosenthal, down low, is able to first force a turnover, excuse me, to Wojciechowski at the line. Near side done, return pass, Wojciechowski, Jacks play catch with it. Top of the near circle, back to the deep slot. Cross ice, Rosenthal waits, surveys his options. Cross ice, done, down low, the pass deflects. Good play there by Dylan Jensen. It's Cad Lasik to the top of the circle for Dunn. Near side, Cad Lasik, goal line, short angle goes through the blue paint. Rosenthal controls. Down low, Tommy Wright. Centering pass looking for Dunn. And Bryant Marks knocked the, <laughs> knocked the net off. Much to the disdain of the Odessa Jackalopes faithful. We're going to get a face off here with 101 to go on the Jersey Mike's power play. Second unit out there for the Jacks. Metelkin wins the draw back. Manlove trying to fish it free. He will. Moves down low to the corner. Sends itself around to James Richmond, who's pinned along the corner as well near side. Metelkin to the far side. DeMars to the line. Return pass. DeMars. Patilla. Richmond. Top of the faceoff circle. Good puck movement by the Jackalopes. Richmond. Wrist one soaked up by Marks. Face off going to be to the uh, near side of Brian Marks. That'll be his glove side. Catches left. Second unit stays out there. This has been a good power play for the Jackalopes in terms of puck movement and shooting pucks toward the net. We'll see if they can continue that here. But the ice raids win the draw. Skating out is Valdez. He's got two Jackalopes watching him. A wrister comes in. Soaked up and played by Belly. Patilla came in to help, which allowed Belly to move the puck. Here's DeMars. Moving into the zone right wing. Jacks look to get set up. It's dropped to Richmond. Skates down low to the corner. James Richmond taken down on the play. Arm of the official stays down. It's backhanded to the line, but not out. Last 10 seconds here on the power play. Patilla to the far side for Manlove. Goes back for Patilla. Five seconds to go. The puck hops over Patilla's stick. And that'll do it for the power play. Hayden to Mars, into the zone. Tries to pull a move around a defender. A turnaround shot. He's on his knees, unable to get the puck toward the net. Metelkin forces a turnover. His stick was held on the play. As moving out is Sobush. His clear attempt is kept in. Metelkin back end of the forehead. Diving shot through the blue paint. Metelkin taken down on the play. And... He gets up and skates right to the bench. As here come the Jacks, still in the zone. Benyon gets it poke checked away. It's Patilla back in the defensive zone for the Jackalopes. 10.45 to go here in the second. Metelkin appears to be all right. He just takes a seat on the bench. Wizenan pulls a move around a defender. Gets a cross center ice, gets a poke checked away by Pelton into the zone, though, is Fetchko for the Jackalopes, who tries a wrister toward the net. It deflects into the protected netting. 10.28 to go, second period. A successful penalty kill for the Corpus Christi Ice Rays. Shots on goal, 324-11 to 11 in favor of Odessa, 11-2 to 2 this period.
Bell Sterling wins the faceoff back. The captain, Trevor Mitchell, fires one toward the net. Blocker to side by Marks. Good save there as that wrister had some extra mustard, ketchup, and relish on it. My goodness. Puck gets wristed into the zone. Mark stops it and plays it to his defenseman, Wolfgang Govidaris. Sobush, cross ice pass behind its intended target. Delayed offside here on the ice raise allows the Jacks to start the other way. Belsterling fires one in. There's Hayek who takes a big hit from Belsterling. Or sorry, that was Charlie Smith rather. Jacks are able to pick off a pass to center ice. Trevor Mitchell hit as he gains the zone. And another hit from behind. That's going to be a penalty on Sobush. Interference is the call as Sobush laid the first hit, which was fine. But then he cross-checked Mitchell from behind. Easy call there for the officiating crew. We're going to take immediate timeout. 9.47 to go here in the second period of play. 2-0, Jacks lead. And a shove delivered by Nikita Konevich. As he and Govadaris cross the red line and delivered a push. I'm trying to see, well, the Jackalope's wearing an A. That's Lombardi. We'll see what comes of this. Belly was skating to the bench because we have a media timeout. We're going to stay on the air. And the official making the sign of a T. And he is giving a penalty to the Jackalopes. He is sending Hunter Wizenan to the box. Wizenan was on the bench. Hunter Wizenan, a two minute unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. So now it's a four on four. I mean, Wizenan wasn't even on the ice. Trevor Mitchell was trying to get an explanation. Now Wojciechowski trying to get an explanation. The faceoff is going to be in front of the home penalty box. So the Jacks were going to go on the Jersey Mike's power play. But the official must have, I mean, must have heard something, seen something. And Hunter Wisnan taking residency in the penalty box. Cad Lasik right in. Wrists one blocked out in front. Great block shot by Sam Troutwein for the ice race. Good hit delivered by Wojciechowski as the ice race cleared their own end. Fasciano unable to advance it. It's Cad Lasik back along the left wing into the zone. Wrist one toward the net, that one deflects wide. Wojciechowski unable to get to that loose puck. It's batted away, done. Around a defender, what a move, Cam Dunn. Skates into his back end and moves a one-timer across the Cad Lasik. Shot comes in, blocked by Reardon. That stung him a little bit. He's hunched over, but he's still staying on the ice. Puck gets sent out to the near side. Jackalopes maintain control, and Trevor Mitchell has it at center ice. Jacks go for a change here. It's Trevor Mitchell, the captain, along the right wing, around a couple defenders, into the zone, moves into the slot. A shot comes in, blocker save made by Marks. Another shot from Vardy, that one fought off. Mela centering pass, Matelkin tries a turnaround shot. That puck deflected off his stick, and it cleared by the ice rays. Trevor Mitchell's backhand pass intercepted by Kuznetsov. Bounces back to the stick of Mitchell who advances the puck. Metelkin into the zone, tries to chip it toward the net. Has it on the backhand behind the cage. Metelkin skates out to the near side, or far side, excuse me. Kick to the line for Morgan. He walks, fires just wide of the post. Metelkin and the fans want a penalty there. A turnover here, man love to Morgan. He'll walk, shoot another one. Blocked out in front by Fashkano. Backhanded toward the net by man love, stopped by Marks. To put a pin in that one, the Jacks wanting a penalty as Metelkin was held moving toward the near side. So 
They're still playing four on four, 7.58 to go here in the second period. 12 seconds of four on four time, and both Wisenand and Sobush will be released from the box. Zach Benny on in to take the face off for the Jackalopes. Fetchko sets up behind him and to the right for a quick shot off the draw. It's one by Benny on Fetchko controls out to the line. Patilla holds it in. He'll walk into the far face off circle. Oh, he loses possession of the puck, but he skates toward it in the corner. Two seconds and one. We're back to five on five hockey. Sent down below the goal line, controlled by Corpus Christi. That's Jakar Polshakov moving one ahead to Sobush. Moves into the zone left wing, tries to pull a move and gets around Morgan, but Morgan gets back with a poke check and knocks it free. Both of those two gentlemen do battle behind the net. Morgan and Sobush to try to free the puck. Gets sent out into the slot. Alert play there from Benion to knock it away. Here comes Zach Benion into the zone. Backhands one to the corner, it's blocked. Centering pass, Morgan on the backhand. Tries a wraparound, centering pass! And kicking the net off again was Brian Marks, but the puck was not going in this time as it was cleared out by the ice race. Seven oh eight to go, second period, shots on goal. 29 to 11, the Jackalopes. 16 shots in this second period. All of them stopped by Brian Marks. To give you guys a quick update here in the Shreveport and Oklahoma game, the Warriors have pulled within one. It is a two to one game in favor of Shreveport. 2.53 to go in the second period. Cohen Belsling in to take the face off. Warning given to the ice rays on the draw. We'll do it all over again. Face off one back by Corpus Christi. Tommy Wright forces a turnover behind the net as he gets around Hike. Backhand wrap around attempt. It's loose out in front, and guess what? The net comes off. It's Moorings. Charlie Smith tried a shot toward the net. It was blocked out in front, and then after that, the net had come off. It's Moorings. That's, I want to say, the fourth time this period. Here in Odessa, we've known to have a couple of issues with the net staying on. Marks is trying to do everything he can to make sure that net stays on. Third line out there for the Jackalopes of Tommy Wright, Cohen, Bell, Sterling, Charlie Smith. The back end of John Wojciechowski and Riley Rosenthal. Again, Cohen Belsling, two goals and an assist last night. Charlie Smith with a goal as well. Face off one back by the Icers, but getting ahead. Charlie Smith, a turnaround shot, save made by Marks. And <laughs> looked like the uh, net jeered a little bit as well. As we're going to take a media timeout, 6.54 to go here in the second period. 2-0 Jackalopes. You're listening to Odessa Jackalopes Hockey on NATV and YouTube.
We'll go back inside the Jack Shack. 6.54 to go here in the second period of play. Offensive zone draw for the Jackalopes, but it's won back by Corpus Christi, who will look to start a rush of their own. Jensen, rainbows one into the neutral zone. Knocked down by Carter Cranky, who, Cranky rather, who sends one toward the net. That one deflects wide in behind the cage. Puck eventually finds itself around. A shot comes in. Cranky with a shot. That's a glove save made by Belly. Just the third shot on goal this period for the Ice Rays. 13 and a half minutes in. A rare defensive zone faceoff for the uh, Jackalopes this period. First line's out there. That's one back by Odessa. Mitchell rings it around. Richmond helps it the rest of the way. Pinching up ahead now is Cam Dunn. One on one. Has some reinforcements. Scott Lasik, a wrister save made by March with the blocker. Here come the Ice Rays. An odd man rush. Two on one. It's cranky into the zone. Walks. Dips the shoulder, tries to thread a pass through, and it's Lem Vardy with the shin pad, knocking it away. The Jacks counterattack the other way. What a move, Richmond. Two on one with Catlasic. Richmond tries to find Catlasic. Great defensive play by Sam Troutwine to thwart that pass. A couple of odd man rushes for both teams here in the second period as Tommy Manzella backhands one deep into the corner. Griffin Zaski starting the rush for the ice race. Sent ahead. Good hit delivered by Manzella to free Jensen from the puck. But nonetheless, the ice race are able to get it deep into the Jacks zone. Morgan stripped of the puck. Centering pass all alone. Sobush, and he scores. We mentioned it in the pregame. Pearson Sobush, his seventh point. In five games against the Jackalopes, four goals, three assists for number 91. And the Ice Rays pull within one. Great defensive play, though, on the four check to force that turnover. I believe it was Caden Morgan behind the play for the Jackalopes, who was unable to get the puck advance and a centering pass came in to Sobush. And he made no mistake firing one high. Here's Sobush again into the zone. He'll walk and fire and he scores again. Two wrist shots, 14 seconds. This game is tied. Well, just like that, the two goal lead for the Jackalopes has evaporated. And the Ice Rays are right back in it. We will get the official scoring on both goals for you in just a second here. As Mitchell back in his own zone, rings it around. Benion unable to help it the rest of the way. Shot comes in, blocked in the slot. Rebound is loose. And here come the Jacks the other way. Two on two out of the zone. Matelkin to the right side, Fetchko. Benny on the trailer. Return pass from Matelkin to Flex to the corner. Matelkin for Benion, near side corner. Backhands one deep, Marcus Fetchko trying to help it down to the corner. He gets it as Matelkin retrieves the loose puck. Center pass, Fetchko a drive, save made, rebound loose in the slot, batted out of there by the Ice Rays. They'll look to start out the other way, pass intercepted by Trevor Mitchell. Here's Matelkin into the zone, gives one across, return pass, Matelkin, he scores! <laughs> Zach Benion, what a feed! Matelkin the tip. The lead's restored. Well, between those three goals, three goals in a minute and five seconds. But luckily for the Jackalopes, they have the lead once again. As Corpus Christi was threatening to take all the momentum.
And we'll get caught up on scoring here in just a second. Well, the first goal is Pearson Sobush. He reads unassisted, but there was a turnover force, so there should be an assist. I apologize, I don't know who forced that turnover. But as of right now, it reads Pearson Sobush unassisted. And I think Pearson Sobush unassisted on the second one, too. Then that last goal is going to be Nick Matelkin from Zach Benion, and I would assume Marcus Fetchko as well. The scores are busy as carrots continue to be thrown along the ice. Scorers doing their due diligence to get all the goals updated as quickly as they can. Update on the Shreveport and Oklahoma game while we have time at the second intermission. It is two to one Mudbugs. Only one penalty call the entire game. That gave Oklahoma a power play and they were unsuccessful. And we're set to get underway. Again, as the scoring populates on the website, we'll update you. Face off one back by the Ice Rays as they look for a response. Now Hayek, touch pass ahead. Here are the Ice Rays, two on one. Right side, a shot, save! Belly with a blocker. Shove delivered by Govideris on Braden Patilla as the linesmen quickly separate. Gonna be a defensive zone draw for the Jackalopes. A fantastic shot rang in for the Ice Rays on that last play. Belly was up to the task and made really good blocker save. Face off one back by the Ice Rays. A turnaround shot from Valdez. Snared out of the air by Belly. Face off one back by the Ice Rays as they move into the slot. A turnaround shot comes in. Traffic out in front. Belly locates and covers. As Polshakov was in front of the net. First line out there for the Jackalopes, along with the first line of defense, countered by the first line for the Ice Rays and the third line of defense. There's Valdez, fires one towards the net. Wojciechowski got his stick in the shooting lane. The puck deflects to Richmond, who looks to break out with the puck. Rosenthal, cross-ice pass to Kadlasic. You got Richmond pinching up along the wing. Kadlasic into the zone, unable to find a pass as Valdez picks it off. Here comes Polshakov, left wing, stops on a dime. Backhand pass too far behind Cody Kemp and the Jacks regain control. It's James Richmond to Wojciechowski pinned behind the net, loses possession of the puck and a big hit delivered behind the play. That's Richmond and Valdez. Shot comes in, pad save made by Belly. Here come the Jacks on the breakout. Richmond banks one off the wall into the zone looking for Cad Lasik. A alert play by Hayek but he loses it to Richmond. Tries to find Dunn with a centering pass. It gets poke checked away. Now Richmond for Dunn. Behind the net. Tries to free the puck from Govidaris. He's able to skate out of his own zone with the puck. Now through center ice. Govidaris into the offensive zone. Left side to Pichek. Wrists one into the trapper of Max Belly. Three minutes on the dot remaining here in the second period. Shots on goal, 32 to 18. 
So Corpus Christi has matched their shots on goal total from the previous period with nine, and the Jackalopes have surpassed theirs from last period. They've got 19 shots this period. Caden Morgan rings it around. It's tipped by Manlove to center ice. As the Jacks regain control, Caden Morgan at the red line, has it on his back, and it'll bank one off the boards as it's sent in. Now the other way, the ice rays kiss one off the glass, belly out to play as it's on net. Therefore, no icing here on Corpus Christi. Manzella's pass intercepted out of the reach of DeMars. A centering pass taken out of there by Manzella, and under pressure, he skates away with the puck and sends it out. Konevich, skying one into the air, kicked out of there by Morgan. Re-entering are the ice rays. Good move by Kuznetsov. Moves down low at the base of the circle, now to the top. Step on Kuznetsov at the line, keeps it in to the right side. One-timer comes in, whiffing on that shot where the ice rays. Centering pass picked off by the Jackalopes. Here comes Wizenand. Along the right wing, gets a poke checked away. Kuznetsov at center ice takes control for the ice rays. There's Pelton. Down low, a shot comes in off the side of the cage. Jacks control the rebound. Hunter Wizenand the other way with DeMars. He'll backhand one deep, and that line will go for a change. Down to 100 seconds to play here in the second period. Jacks hold on to a 3-2 lead. Shot comes in, stick save, deflected into the protected netting, and out of play. <laughs> Defensive zone draw upcoming for the Jackalopes. As still got a little over a minute and a half to play here in the second. Wojciechowski trying to free the puck. Metelkin into his aid. Three on two for the Jackalopes. Up Main Street to the right side. There's Petschko. Return pass looking for Metelkin. Tips it toward the net. That one deflects just wide. And we have a piece of equipment. Is that Bryant Mark's glove? It is Bryant Mark's glove on the ice. So both Pearson Sobush goals read unassisted. As the faceoff will come to the far side of the offensive zone for the Jackalopes. Still the second line out there. Mark Dispatchko, Nick Matelkin, and Zach Benny on faceoff one back by the Ice Rays as they look to break out. It's Fasciano, far side. Flips one ahead. And here's Rosenthal back in his own zone. Teams play catch a little bit. Ping pongs off the boards. As Metelkin tries to get to that loose puck, he'll advance it into the Corpus Christi zone. Metelkin into the slot on the back end, gets a stick lifted, and the ice race start out the other way. Two on two, turns into a three on two. Cranky, left side, Jansen fires, save. Actually, rather blocked out in front as the one-minute announcement has been set over the PA announcement. Benny on backhander wide of the near post. Vardy on the rebound, sends one toward the net. It deflects off a skate controlled by Corpus Christi. Gage Perillo with the puck, left wing. Tries to get around a defender. Puts the puck a little too far in front of him. And the Jacks take control. Tommy Wright, backhands one deep. Marks out to play. Wright almost able to force that turnover. But instead, it floats to the ice race. Trying to cut toward the net. Is number 23, Max Tedeset. I mean, the net's off its moorings. I mean, the peg is laying in front of the net. And now they're going to blow the whistle. The net was sideways for about five seconds and the whistle hadn't gone. We've got 15.4 seconds to go here in the second period of play. It's gonna be a defensive zone draw for Odessa. And it'll be to the far side. As in to take the face off, Will Reardon for the Ice Rays and Cohen Belsterling for the Jackalopes.
Face off one back by the ice race, sent to the corner. Mitchell's able to kiss it off the glass. Hayek back to retrieve in his own zone. Drops one to Govadaris, and we got five seconds to go in the period. That should all but do it. Hayek pinned along the wall, and we are through with the second period of play, but linesmen separate Cohen Belsterling and Andrew Hayek, and nothing more comes of it. We'll be back in about 10 to 12 minutes for the second intermission report. Once again, you're listening to Odessa Jackalope's Hockey on NATV and YouTube.
Welcome back inside the Jack Shack where the Odessa Jackalopes hold a three to two lead over the Corpus Christi Ice Rays here at the end of the second period. Taking a look at how that went down, the Ice Rays scored two goals in a matter of 14 seconds to tie the game up. It's Pearson Sobush, his 17th and 18th of the season. That came about five and a half minutes ago in the second period. We had a little bit of a scoring drought for the first 14 minutes of that second frame, but a minute later, it was Nick Metelkin on a great feed from Zach Benion, who deflected the puck into the back of the net, one hand touch right in, and that gave the Jackalopes a three to two lead, which is where we stand. After 40 minutes of play, shots on goal that period, 20 to 10 in favor of the home side Jackalopes. They lead that category 33 to 19. Goalie stats after 40 minutes. Brian Marks, 30 saves on 33 Odessa shots. Max Belly, 17 saves on 19 Corpus Christi shots. Taking a look now at the out-of-town scoreboard for the North American Hockey League and beyond. The Danbury Hattricks beat the Maynard Dicks 4-3 final score. Four-goal third period for the Hattricks. The Maryland Black Bears defeat the Philadelphia Rebels final score 5 nothing. The... Uh, Johnstown Tomahawks, well, this is interesting. It says a final in the shootout, three to three. That's not possible. So let's delve into it a little bit further. Well, when I try to delve into it, my, oh, there we go, the Johnstown Tomahawks victorious over the Rochester Junior Americans. I must have just ended as uh, Tomahawks defeat the Junior Americans. New Jersey Titans defeat the Generals five to two. The Chippewa Steel are up Three to nothing on the Springfield Junior Blues. Ten minutes to play in the third. Wisconsin win to go up three nothing on the Janesville Jets. That one's got seven and a half to go in the third as well. North Iowa Bulls up on the Austin Bruins. Two to nothing. Seventeen minutes to play in the third. Shreveport Mudbugs still hold a two-one lead over the Oklahoma Warriors. That one's got fifteen and a half to play in the third. At the second intermission, the El Paso Rhinos up one nothing on the Lone Star Brahmas. Amarillo Wranglers up two nothing on the Colorado Grit. That one's got eighteen twenty to go in the second. Still to come, the Minnesota Wilderness take on the Anchorage Wolverines and the Fairbanks Ice Dogs take on the Kenai River Brown Bears. We'll be back in about three minutes. Once again, you're listening to Odessa Jackalopes Hockey on NATV and YouTube.
Welcome back inside the Jack Shack for the third period of play between the Ice Rays and the Jackalopes. Jackalopes hold a three to two lead currently. We didn't do the NHL scoreboard. Oh boy, five nothing. Kings lead over the Blackhawks at the end of the second period. And the Jets are up four nothing on the Anaheim Ducks. 9.03 to go in the third. Trying to see if anyone's on hat trick watch. Oh, Andre Kopitar's got two. Oh boy. And you know what? For the Kings, that's pretty impressive. They've limited Connor Bedard. They've held him off the uh, shot sheet. He has not even gotten a shot on goal tonight. That is impressive. But that is why the Los Angeles Kings are a very solid team in the National Hockey League. Think back to when I was a kid watching Blackhawks games and the Kings and the Blackhawks had one heck of a rivalry in the playoffs between 2010 and all the way out to 2015. 2013 Western Conference Finals, Patrick Kane, the famous one-timer goal in overtime, hit the heartbreaker Selly to knock the Kings out. Never forget where I was at for that. I'll tell you that for sure. We are just about set for third period action here at the Jack Shack. Both teams take the ice. The uh, Jackalopes lead this one by one goal, but Pearson Sobush, what did I say coming into the contest? He has six points coming into tonight's contest in four games. Now he's got eight points, five goals, three assists in five games against the Jackalopes. He has just been a, a consistent threat for the Ice Rays here this season. Ice Rays get it into the Odessa zone. James Richmond gets it out the rest of the way along with Michael Cadlace. It quickly sent back in by Corpus Christi who touches up on the delayed offside. Now it's Wojciechowski back behind his own net. Gets flushed out and skates right back behind his cage. That's Derek Pichek watching him. Wojciechowski at center ice. Flips one into the zone. Cross ice dump and he'll go for a change as Richmond pokes it to the near corner. Corpus Christi takes control. Dunn pins his man along the wall but Getting to the puck is Jackson Wade for Corpus Christi. Right side pass is just behind Will Reardon. That allows Vardy to get to the loose puck as if the Ice Rays would have touched it, they would have been offside. Richmond leaves one for Kadlasic along left wing. He's got Dunn with him, finds Dunn. Cross ice pass, deflects, glove down, a shot comes in from Mitchell. Save made by Brian Marks. The puck is loose in the far face off circle, controlled by Dunn. Goes cross ice for Vardy, down low. There's Cadlasic, short angle, save made by Marks as he holds and covers. That is Bryant Marks, 32nd save of the night. Jack Lopes hounding him with shots on goal. Face off one back by the Jack Lopes, Fetchko. Sends it to the line. Morgan a drive. Tipped by Benny on that one. Deflects wide. Metelkin now in the corner. Centers it. Looking for Benny on a little too far in front of him. Bryant Marks pass. Goes between the legs of Kuznetsov. That allows the Jacks to maintain control in the offensive zone. Now it's Fetchko. Near side to Metelkin. In the faceoff circle. Wrist one just wide of the post. Nick Metelkin looking for his second of the game. It's Patilla to Metelkin. Gets it poke checked away. Here come the ice race. Two on two into the zone. It's Troy Pelton sending one toward the net. That one deflects off a skate and down below the goal line. Benyon with a nice stretch pass to Fetchko. Tries to pull it around a defender held back on the play. And the Ice Rays regain control back in their own zone. It's Wolfgang Govadaris. Govadaris through center ice. Left wing has some speed. Backhands one toward the net. Shoulder save made by Belly. Wisnan taken down. Tripped on the play. No call. Sobush looking for the hat trick. He hit the side of the cage. Turned over by the Jackalopes. The shot comes in by Polshakov. Behind the net, Sobush tries a short angle shot. And Rosenthal is able to get a stick in the way. He blocks that shot. Rosenthal stretch pass didn't get much on it. The Ice Rays are able to dump it back in. It's John Wojciechowski. Stretch pass banks off the wall. The race for icing is on. And DeMars wins. And Manlov cutting toward the net. DeMars spins away from a defender. He's still pinned, however, by Sam Troutwine. And a hit from behind. Once again, no call. We play on. Cody Kempf 
Flips one into the Odessa zone for Corpus Christi. Belly out to play. Finds Teddy Manlove. Unable to advance it further. Vardy is back for the Jackalopes. Alternate captain this season. And on the second attempt, the Jacks are able to clear. It's Wisnan. Gaining the red line. Dumping it in. Full sail line change. Ford line at least for the Jackalopes. Pulls shock off to the right side. Valdez into the zone right wing. Shielded by Vardy behind the cage. Valdez out to the line. It splits a couple of ice rays, and that allows Charlie Smith to fork it out of the zone. Now Tommy Wright has the puck along the blue line. Smith helps it the rest of the way into the zone, and Tommy Wright's helmet has come off. So again, in juniors, if your helmet comes off, your first move has to be to the bench, and that's what Tommy Wright did exactly. Cranky into the zone, almost offside. Shot comes in, a pad save made by Belly, and then a shot from the half wall. Whistles through the slot and wide. Jackson Wade on the puck. It's Charlie Smith hooked on the play. And the arm of the official stays down. We play on. The Jacks get to the loose puck. Charlie Smith flips one out of the zone to the safety of center ice. Corpus Christi kind of dominating the first few minutes of this third period. Let's see if the Jacks can turn it around and get a couple shots on goal here. It's Michael Kadlasic at the red line. Pulls it too far in front of him. And he loses possession of the puck, but it deflects off a shin pad as the puck bounces around, delayed offside here are the Jackalopes. I'll touch up, Fasciano back in his own zone. Almost an intercepted pass by Wojciechowski. Eventually gets a loose puck. Gets taken down from behind. Where's the puck? It's along the right wing. Dylan Jensen controls for the ice race. Taken away by Cam Dunn. Back to Rosenthal. Stretch pass. Tape to tape to Richmond. Around a defender. Two on one in the zone. Another move by Richmond. Tries to muscle one toward the net. He got hit off the play. Dunn sends one back out to the line. It's Lombardi to Richmond. Into the middle, covered by a couple of ice rays. But forcing the turnover is Dunn. He'll walk. Shimmy. Kedlasic a one-timer looking for the open net. And he whiffed on it as the puck floats behind the cage. Ice rays on the counterattack. Stretch pass too far in front of its intended target. The Jacks take control and start the other way. Back in the Corpus Christi zone. It's gloved down by Reardon. Ahead and a big hit delivered by Vardy on to Pichek as Metelkin grabs the loose puck at center ice. Gets his stick lifted and Corpus Christi is able to take control. Reardon on the right side into the zone for the ice race. Cross ice pass, nobody home. Wearing a white sweater as the puck gets rung around by Mitchell and out. Wolfgang Govidaris at center ice. Gets around Metelkin into the zone. Fires one off the shin pad of Vardy. Jacks look to counter. Pass from Fetchko misses. Nick Metelkin stick a turnaround shot from Reardon. Whistles wide. The Jacks clear it and go for a line change. Skovadaris back in the zone for the ice race. Into the slot. Fires one over the crossbar. Good shot there from Govadaris. He's, he's a defenseman, but he's pinching in on the offensive side of the puck and getting a couple shots toward the net. Hunter Wisnan whistling through the defense. Pulls a move around a defender to shield the puck. Sends it down low for Manlove. Tried in the center it for DeMars. That one never connected. Out to the line, Morgan. Shot comes in, blocked out in front by Pelton. It's DeMars. Centering pass. Wizen and a one-timer just missed the post. I don't think Marks was ready for that one as half the net was uncovered. Teddy Manlove hit along the wall. Gets taken down. And again, no call. Puck sent to the line. Morgan tries a shot toward the net. Kind of rolled on him. Therefore, he was unable to get a clean shot off. Here comes Pearson Sobush. Got two goals, the only two goals for the Ice Rays here this evening. Gets around defender, centering pass. It's loose in the slot and batted out of there by Hayden to Mars. Sobush to the loose puck. Down low to Stepan Kuznetsov. He'll send it below the goal line. Manzella with a nice hit on his man as they remain tied up. It's Hayden to Mars. Stretch pass for Teddy Manlove. Deflects off his skate. The Jacks unable to clear. Jackalopes are gassed out there. Good hit by Morgan to free the puck. Manlove trying to get to the loose puck. It's sent to the line. Fasciano a drive. Save made by Belly. Extracurriculars in front of the cage. 12.37 to go. Manzella skates back to the bench. A couple of different lines out for each side.
Got the third line out for the Jackalopes. Cohen Belsling, Tommy Wright, Charlie Smith with John Wojciechowski, Riley Rosenthal countered by the first line of the Ice Rays. Michael Valdez, Zakhar Polshakov, Cody Kemp with Bastiano and Wade. Face off one back to the line, held in by Fasciano. Has it on his backhand, sends it to the corner. Rosenthal in a battle there with Kemp. Sent below the goal line, Polshakov controls. He's hit by Belsling, kept in Fasciano. Shot comes in, stick save made by Belly. Another save made by Belly on the rebound attempt as it fluttered on the cage. Jack Lopes able to pin their man along the wall, get to that loose puck. And Tommy Wright to Wojciechowski, now ahead to Belsling, right wing with some space. Cohen Belsling stops in the corner, gets hit from behind. Charlie Smith in to help out. Belsling, glove to stick, goes back to Tommy Wright. He gets his pocket picked, and here come the ice rays with a rush the other way. Stretch pass down the length of the ice. The race is won by Vardy, and that'll be icing here on the ice rays. All icings this season are brought to you by Hilliard Office Solutions. We're down to 11.53 to go here in the third period of play. 35 to 24 shots on goal. The Ice Rays are out shooting the Jackalopes this period, five to two. So as I was mentioning earlier in the broadcast, about five minutes ago, Corpus Christi coming out with some energy, trying to find the game tying goal. It's Michael Kadlasic up against Paul Shakov in the faceoff circle. And we'll do it all over again. Still waiting for the linesman to drop the puck. It's dropped and won back by the Jackalopes. Loose puck gathered by Dunn to Mitchell. Walks in and fires stick save made by Marks. Vardy, a turnaround shot off of a shin pad. It bounces to the slot. A backhander from Richmond is stopped by Marks once again. Cameron Dunn and a big hit delivered away from the puck. The arm of the official stays down again. Richmond didn't even play the puck and got drilled. As we have a whistle for... The puck being knocked down with a high stick. While we have a second, let's give you an update here on the Shreveport and Oklahoma game. As it stands, 6.25 to go here in the third period to play. Shreveport Mudbugs up 2-1 to one on the Oklahoma Warriors. Puck was just dropped again, so the time is now ticking. We will keep you updated on the last six minutes of that game. At least of regulation, that is. Face off one back by the Jack Loops. Patilla is trying to work it free. Kadlasic bats it to the half wall, controlled by the ice rays now. Behind the net is Perillo, rings it around to the line to Govadaris. Trying to poke it around him was Richmond unsuccessfully as Perillo controls in the corner. Has it on his backhand, watched by Kadlasic. Backhands one toward the line. Govadaris gets around the defender, tees up a slap shot, pad save made by Max Belly. Govadaris still on the rebound. Good hit by Morgan to separate the puck. And here come the Jacks the other way. It's Cad Lasik. He leaves the puck behind him, but Dunn is there to pick up the loose change. Two on one with Richmond. Dunn to Richmond. All alone. Tip big save, Marks. Holy moly. James Richmond all alone. A high tip. As the puck glided along the ice, he shot it up high. And Marks came in with a shoulder save. Holy goodness. When I tell you, Bryant Marks has kept the ice race in this game. I'm not lying to you. Holy moly. Brian Marks still adjusting his equipment, but it will be to his blocker side, so the right side will be the faceoff. Metelkin up against Tedestat. And looks like we're set to get back underway. Sticks down, pucks down, one by the Jack Loves, held in by Wojciechowski. Left side, Zach Benny on centering, pass from Metelkin, turnaround shot, and ramps up off the stick of Sam Troutwine and out of play. Nick Metelkin again, 
And to take the face off for the Jacks, he won the last one. Can he do a, can he win another one back? Warning given to the Ice Rays on the face off. One back by Metelkin, Fetchko, cross ice to the point. There's Rosenthal, a drive tip just wide of the net. Good net front presence by the Jackalopes. Wojciechowski, Flubbers one toward the net, held by Marks. Add that to the save tally marker for Bryant Marks here this evening. This time the faceoff won back by Troy Pelton, but turned over behind the net. Benny on tries a centering pass, nobody home for the Jackalopes. Here come the ice rays the other way. It's banked off the glass. There's Rosenthal ahead. There's Marcus Fetchko now on the puck. Looks to find Benny on with a pass. That one deflects into the Corpus Christi zone, therefore icing is negated. Puck gets sent to center ice, pinching in. Trevor Mitchell gets the puck away from a ice ray there, but Sobush pinches in at center ice, pinned along the wall, along the left wing now by Trevor Mitchell. Loose puck battle once again. The Jacks send it behind their own net where Mitchell finds Benyon. He'll rainbow one into the neutral zone. Jackson Wade to the right side now for Stepan Kuznetsov. Into the zone, it's Pelton. Pulls a mover on a defender. Backhand, forehand shot, never made it through. Good defense there by Hunter Wisenant. Biscuits get sent around. There's Trevor Mitchell booted to Wisenand along the left side. Into the slot, tries a shot, whiffed on it. Pulls the move around a defender, gets poke checked away. Here's Stepan Kuznetsov along the right wing. Drops one for Fasciano, return pass, Kuznetsov. Short angle, tries to cut toward the goal. He's washed out by Manzella. Knocked out of midair by the Jackalopes. Hayden Mars into the zone right wing. In the corner. DeMars goes back out to the point. Puck is held in by Manzella. Turnaround shot gets sent to the corner by the Jackalopes. Couple of Odessa players to go for a line change here. Here's Valdez skating ahead with speed for the Ice Rays along the right wing. The Jacks are able to get possession. They'll send it down the length of the ice for an icing call. 8.40 to go, third period to play. 3-2 to two in favor of the Jackalopes. Defensive zone draw upcoming. And as I've mentioned, all icings this season are brought to you by Hilliard Office Solutions. Face off is won back by Cohen Belsterling as Patilla searches for the loose puck, finds it and finds Tommy Wright with the tape to tape pass. It's sent into the Corpus Christi zone. Deflects off the end wall as an ice race splits two defenders. Here comes Govidaris. His pass, a little too far behind Polshaka for his liking. And the ice race will elect to dump it in. Wojciechowski rung around for Tommy Wright. As it gets sent out to center ice. Ice rays regain control. That's Dylan Jensen back in his own zone. His pass deflects off the stick of Wright and finds Rosenthal. With a pass delayed offside here on the ice race. Tommy Wright takes possession at center ice. And he'll fling one in to the offensive zone. Back to retrieve is Andrew Hayek off a pass from Bryant Marks. Far side, it's Jensen. Losing the puck in the offen offensive zone, excuse me. And here come the Jackalopes. Cad Lasik, right wing, into the zone. Sends one toward the net. It deflects off a stick and behind the cage. Ice Rays take control. Jensen flips a pass across the red line, but Vardy is there for the Jackalopes to bat it the other way and back into the safety of the offensive zone. The Jacks force a turnover. Kadlasek done. Cross ice pass to Mitchell. He's got space. Fires one blocked out in front. Great play there by Sam Troutwine. He's had a really good defensive game for the Ice Rays, blocking shots and getting sticks and lanes. Perillo pulls a mover on Mitchell. In on a breakaway. Backhands one wide of the post. What a move there from Gage Perillo. Second year ice ray. As Dunn has it on his backhand. Richmond now to Cad Lasik as it's touched forward. Cad Lasik, right wing, shoots one toward the net. Blocking that shot was Konevich. 
Jackalopes regain control at center ice. They'll like to go back into the defensive zone as Morgan spins away from a defender. Caden Morgan into the zone. Left wing, Benny on. Got a man cutting toward the net. Flips it there. Deflects off a stick and behind the cage. Benny on once again trying to get to the loose puck. Marks covers and he'll hold for a whistle. Good news in the Shreveport, Oklahoma game. The Shreveport Mudbugs have scored another goal. It is 3-1 Mudbugs. Hayden Nickel with his second of the game. 2.54 to play in the third. We're going to take a media timeout. 6.32 to go in the third. 32 Jackalopes. We'll be right back. You're listening to Odessa Jackalopes Hockey on NATV and YouTube. Welcome back inside the Jack Shack here. Final media timeout completed. We got 6.32 to go here in the third period of play. The last goal for Shreveport, as we mentioned before the break. That was a power play goal for the Mudbugs. Down to 2.20 and counting. Mudbugs 3-1 lead. So, again, game is not over yet. We'll keep a keen eye on that as well. Nick Metelkin wins that draw back. Benny on top of the circle goes out to the line. Offside of the Jackalopes. That puck just squeaked out. All offsides are brought to you by Commercial Ice Machine this season. We say thank you to our broadcast sponsors, Crude Food for doing the three stars of the game, Hilliard Office Solutions for the icings, and Commercial Ice Machine for our offsides. Jersey Mike's as well for the power play, and Kenner Printing for the penalty kill. Fetchko tries to touch it back to the line, picked up by the ice race. And here comes Tedestet along the right wing, dips the shoulder behind the net, cuts around to the left wing, centers it. There's Govadaris, had a good period so far. Govadaris watched by Mitchell, or I'm sorry, it's Metelkin rather. Shot comes in, a lot of traffic, it squeaks through, no goal. The goal has been waved off. Will Reardon still thinks that he has a goal. I believe they are calling goalie interference here. Ice Ray's not happy. And they'll convene here on the call. I mean, the officials have had to see something to wave it off. So there has to be conclusive evidence from the other officials on the ice to overturn this. This is a relatively decently long conference. No goal on the play. This game stays 3-2 to two in favor of the Jackalopes. Head coach for the Ice Rays, Sylvain Bordeaux. I'm sorry, Sylvain Cloutier. Don't know where I got Bordeaux from. But Sylvain Cloutier is at the front of the bench getting an explanation. Doesn't seem very pleased with it. It's going to be a neutral zone face-off here for the uh, ensuing draw right in front of the home penalty box. It's one back by the Jackalopes. Riley Rosenthal banks one off the boards. DeMars gets his stick lifted, and it's sent back in by the Ice Rays, where Manlove now at center ice backhands it deep. Govidaris. Pulls a move around a couple defenders. Here he comes 
through center ice and into the offensive zone. Rosenthal stops it along the half wall. It's backhanded deep by the ice race. Centering pass looking for Sobush out of his reach. It's held along the half wall. One by the ice rays, but the Jack Lips are able to free the puck. And man love. Skies one into the neutral zone. There's DeMars into the offensive zone now. Right wing dumps it in. A couple of jacks will go for a line change here. Hunter Wisnand will stay out there. Kuznetsov passes one forward to Sobush. Spins away from pressure. Cross ice pass all alone. Kuznetsov fires. Big save made by Belly. Here come the jacks. A whiffed pass. The second attempt is batted at by Wisnand and Smith. And a combined effort there. Sends it into the offensive zone. Kempf collides with Barty. The puck goes into the Odessa bench. And that game has now gone final. The Shreveport Mudbugs defeat the Oklahoma Warriors 3-1. to one. So the Warriors do not get any points here this evening. If the Jacks are victorious tonight, they will pull within five points of the final playoff spot. Still with seven games remaining. The Jacks still have to hold on, however, for the next four minutes and 48 seconds as they'll win the ensuing faceoff. It's banked off the boards too far in front of Charlie Smith. That allows the ice race to dump it back in. There's Braden Patilla, goes to the far side. That's Charlie Smith. Now to Tommy Wright, cross ice pass into the neutral zone. Wright will dump it in. Big hit, Belsterling as he lays a nice check on Sam Troutwine. Here come the ice rays. That's Cody Kemp into the zone. Centering pass. Deflects. The trailer is in. Save made. Belly it deflects off his glove. There's a jackalope down in the blue paint. That did not hinder Belly. Belsterling sends it down the length of the ice. This will be an icing call here on the jackalopes. Down to 4.05 to play. Ice Rays are definitely threatening. Overall, this has been their best period of the game. They've registered eight shots on goal for the period. The Jackalopes have registered five. Jacks win the draw, gets sent down. This will be another icing call here on Odessa. Another nine seconds off the clock, down to 3.56. And yesterday we saw New Mexico head coach Phil Fox a little aggressive with the goaltender down one. As Andy Vlaha was pulled with 2.40 to go. We'll see if Sylvain Cloutier is aggressive as well. Face off one by the ice rays. Patilla almost knocks it free. It's held in as the line shot comes in. Deflects into the corner. Caden Morgan sends it out. And back to retrieve is Valdez for the ice rays. Luca Fasciano flips it into the zone. That deflects off of the glove of Wojciechowski. Kadlasic finds the loose puck. Race for icing is on. It's going to be won by Cam Dunn. Hustle play there from number eight in green. Dunn takes a stick to the face. No call. Kadlasic centering pass looking for Dunn. That one's picked off. Starting the other way are the ice rays. Along the left wing. A toe drag into the slot. As falling on his own accord was Michael Valdez. The other way, here come the Jacks. Two on one. Centering pass. It's loose behind the net. Goes out to the line. Rosenthal walks it. Cat lays a drive right into the bread basket. As he looks to the skies, he knows he should have had that one. The whole left side of the net was open for Cat Lasik. And he was just a little bit off as he fired it into the chest of Bryant Marks. Nonetheless, a great shift right there as Kadlasic tried to find Dunn with the pass, it deflected behind the goal line. Rosenthal had the opportunity to shoot, but saw if he went cross ice, Kadlasic would have had a better opportunity. It was great awareness from number 10. Face off, one back by the ice rays. They'll start out from their own end. Pearson Sobush, why wouldn't you want to have him on the ice? He's got two here tonight. Pass is intercepted, Benion. Flips one, knocked down by the stick of Matelkin, but an athletic play there by the ice rays as they start out the other way. It's Kuznetsov into the zone, gets, falls on his own accord once again, and here come the Jacks with a three on two the other way. Benion 
drops up in the trailer. Mitchell, space, walks, fires off the post. Oh, he drew iron on that shot. Beat the goalie, didn't beat the iron. The Ice Rays are able to send it out of the zone. 2.25 to play, Jack's control. Fenion flips it to the near side into the Corpus Christi zone. Trying to spoon it free was Nick Metelkin. Instead, it's taken back by the Ice Rays. Govadaris crosses the center ice line into the zone. Govadaris fires over the crossbar. Rebound floats out in the slot. Kuznetsov, a shot comes in, and they score. A bad bounce there for the Jackalopes. The shot came in, hit the end glass, and came out in front of the net. Belly didn't have time to get set because Nets out fired at home to tie this game at three. Ensuing faceoff won by the Jackalopes. Let's see if they can respond here as the puck gets sent into the zone. Bryant Marks. Three on two. Here come the ice rays. That's Cody Kempf ringing one around. Puck is loose in the faceoff circle. Controlled by Corpus Christi. A shot comes in. Deflects off of a stick. 105 seconds to go. The Jacks get it out. Charlie Smith deflects it into the zone. Let's go Vidaris. Smith hit behind the play. No call. Kemp sends it in. Stick save made by Belly. Vardy back in his own zone. A minute and a half to play. Sent along the wall. Bell swing. A mini three on two starting for the Jacks. As it's sent in on Marks. And he'll hold for a whistle. Belsterling tied up with Hayek. Offensive zone drop coming for the Jackalopes. Still waiting on the official scoring on that goal for the ice rays. First line out for the Jackalopes, Dunn, Kadlasic, Richmond with Mitchell and Vardy. Face off one back, Mitchell's got some space, goes to the right side, Kadlasic, he'll walk and fire, save made, rebound, Richmond, a diving shot stopped by Marks as he was able to get on the loose puck. one fifteen to play, the Jacks now with 42 shots on goal in this game. 39 saves from Bryant Marks. Cad Lasik getting a new twig. And the whistle has gone. Signaling that we are just about ready to drop the puck as it's won back by the ice rays. Kissed off the glass out of the zone. Vardy under duress, finds Dunn, goes back into his own zone to the open man, Mitchell. Trevor Mitchell off the wall for Kadlasic who taps it into the zone. There's Hayek sending one forward. James Richmond tries to find Dunn. That one in between his skate and his stick. Ice Rays gain control. 50 seconds to go in the game. It's Fasciano through center ice for the Ice Rays. They've had a great period so far. Perillo unable to advance it past the half walls. It's gloved down by Dunn. Riley Rosenthal back in his own zone, banks it off the wall, Fasciano picks it off. Kadlasic trying to help it the rest of the way, it bounces in the air a couple of times, and the Ice Rays take control, 25 seconds to go. Govadaris, left wing into the zone, tip to him, pass across, backhander, what a save, Belly the rebound is in and they score. Eighteen 
1.1 seconds to go. The Ice Rays have scored two goals in the last two minutes. The officials are convening. We'll see what we have here. Again, the official convening with the linesman here. Sobush, the alternate captain with Trevor Mitchell, the front of the penalty box. And we have a goal. The uh, Jacks crowd here is stunned. Scott Dewar getting an explanation, telling his side. And we are gonna start play, 18 seconds to go. Jack's down one, they need a miracle. Rosenthal. Sends it into the zone, into the glove of Marks. He fakes the play. 12.9 to go. It's going to be an offensive zone draw. Oh, they whistled the Jacks offside. Oh, that's, that's unfortunate for the Jackalopes. Faceoff's going to come in front of the Corpus Christi bench. Oh, tough break for the Jacks. Kadlasik against Pelton. Wojciechowski sets up at the far side of the blue line. Warning given to the Jackalopes on the faceoff. And it is won by the Jacks. Running out of time, seven seconds. Deflects back into the defensive zone with five, four. Wojciechowski last ditch shot, soaked up and held. And the final buzzer sounds. The Corpus Christi Ice Rays on a stellar game from Bryant Marks. Come back and stun the Odessa Jackalopes in a game that the Jacks really needed the two points. Your final score here, four to three. In favor of the Ice Rays, we'll be back on the air tomorrow at about 7.05. Be sure to join us for the conclusion of this two-game set. I'm Brandon Luisi thanking you for listening to Odessa Jackalopes Hockey on NATV and YouTube.